Hi, in this video I want to answer the question of why do we get different biomes or ecosystems occurring in different places? The simple answer to that question is climate. So for example, if the climate is hot and wet, we're likely to see a tropical rainforest, whereas if it's hot and dry, you're more likely to see a desert or perhaps a savanna. However, this leads us to the question of why do different places have different climates? And the answer to that question is far more complex. It really comes down to a number of factors, six of which I want to talk to you about today. So, the first factor I want to talk about is latitude. Now, latitude is the distance a place is from the equator. Very simply put, the further that you get away from the equator, the colder the temperature is. And this is due to the curvature of the Earth. So when you're near the poles, the sunlight has a larger area of atmosphere to pa pass through. And the sun is also at a lower angle in the sky. This means that more energy is lost and therefore the temperatures are lower. The second factor to consider here is altitude. Altitude is height above sea level. So, the higher the altitude, the colder the temperature. And obviously the colder the temperature, the less that will grow. So, the higher you go up, uh, the temperature will drop. Uh, about 1 degree centigrade for every 100 metres. The third, third factor to consider is what we call continentality. So, continentality is distance from the coast or from the seaside. Um, so, if you are a ma maritime climate, it means you're near to the sea. We know that oceans cool down and heat up slower than the land. Therefore, places near the sea tend to be cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter than places inland. Places inland tend to be, have a continental climate as opposed to a maritime climate. The fourth factor to consider is the albedo effect. Uh, this particularly comes into play at uh, places uh, that are at the poles. Um, so the albedo effect states that darker materials absorb more light and more heat than lighter materials, which reflect uh, the light and heat away from them. Uh, therefore, the poles are colder due to the amount of ice and snow. Ice and snow is very light. It reflects the light and the heat back into space, meaning that the temperatures are generally colder. The fifth uh, factor to consider here are ocean currents. Places near the sea are affected by what's happening in the ocean. So there's an example here. Classic example here is we look at the UK's climate, which is significantly warmer than other places in the world at the same latitude as the UK. And that is because we have a warm ocean current travelling up from the Caribbean uh, and going past uh, our coastline. Uh, this current is called the Gulf Stream and it brings with it warmer and wetter weather. And that obviously affects uh, the kind of plants that grow here and uh, the animals that live here as well. The last factor to consider are prevailing winds or air masses. Uh, the location that uh, winds come from uh, links to the type of weather that a place experiences. So for example, if the winds come from a cold place, then they will bring cold weather with them. If they come from a warm place, then they'll bring warm weather. And the same uh, is to do with precipitation as well. If the, warms travel over, if the winds sorry, travel over an ocean or a body of water, they're going to bring wet weather if they come over land, they're likely to be dry and therefore uh, bring dry weather. And therefore, these factors all affect the climate. And the climate affects the kind of plants that can grow and the type of biomes that occur in different places. Please let me know if you have any more questions about this because it's quite a complex topic. Uh, by commenting on the video, I'll try and get back to everyone as quickly as possible. I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.